I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm a long-term volunteer. I've been here for six months. Um, well, I came here two years ago with um, with another with a group that comes here every year, and um, I loved it. So when I knew I was going to take a year off after high school, I looked into seeing if I could come down here for a longer time and work with the kids for a more meaningful amount of time. So. We do calisthenia, which is like exercise. I give charlas about like health and like hygiene and sometimes help with reading. And we also do um, drawing, keeping them occupied, things like that. Kids on the streets, I mean, pretty much everyone's scared of them except, you know, you know, because half the kids on the street I've recognized from a center. You know, I've seen them before, so I go up to them. But they're, you know, very scary looking, very dirty, smell bad, smell of glue, of the drugs that they do. And they, they always have a bottle under their shirt, which they cuff out of. Um, just look, real, they're in really bad shape, but they're really glad to see you, and you know, you give them food, and they're just, they're still kids, they're still sweet and glad to see you. Um, I heard a lot about it, um, I've heard it's very, like, um, groundbreaking, like, or whatever. Um, and so I've heard a lot about it. I wasn't sure exactly how it worked because every time I've come here twice before I came this time, I had never actually seen kids in the sauna. But um, as far as I can, you want me to explain like what I've seen? Sure. Okay. Um, basically, from what I can tell, like they take the kids. The best situation for me is when they take the kids that are right off the street. You know, the ones who really are in drug withdrawal, and the, even the kids that are bad behaved just because they're missing the drugs. They put them in there. And now, from what I can tell, the kids are really excited. When they get picked for sauna, the ones that aren't are really jealous because they know it means they're getting special attention. They think that they're actively doing something to change themselves. Yeah, well, for example, the first time that I came here, there, um, when I could come to Las Flores, there would be just kids running around in underwear, screaming, like kicking people, you know, pushing you on the ground, and there are of course still badly behaved kids here now, but the difference is, is that they kind of know where they're headed, and I see them, I see them coming back from school or from work on their bicycles, and like I ha hardly recognize them, because I'm not looking, they just look like a normal 15 year old boy riding his bike, they, you would never guess that they were street kids, so yeah, mm. huge improvement. Ya por esta me despido, lo que está escrito en el cielo, tu nombre que en mí yo formado por estrellas y luceros, para que si alguien te quiere, es pa' que yo fui el primero. Otra.